Okay, so let's look at how to do question number six here, um, where we're trying to find the measure of angle RQT. Um, so um, this is actually this angle right here that we're trying to find. So the first thing we need to know is um, that we have some triangles here, P, Q, R being the big triangle. And then we have a line um, Q, S, which cuts across. So from that, what can we um, start to deduce for angles here? Well, the first thing we know is that these two, sorry, these two lines here are parallel, um, indicated by the arrows. Okay, so that means that we have a transversal that comes across those two parallel lines. So if I mark um, this angle here, 36, I'll mark this with two slashes. This is actually going to be equal to that angle right here. Um, angle PQT. So angle PQT is also equal to 36. The reasoning behind that is because when a para, uh, transversal cuts two parallel lines, this is an alternate interior angle, which we know are equal. So that, therefore, we can say that's 36. Now, what else do we know here? Well, we know that we have this triangle, um, which is P. Q, R, this large triangle. And we know that the sum of the angles in a triangle, okay, has to equal 180 degrees. So from that, we can start to, to, to kind of work this out. So we know the first angle here in the corner where we have angle P is 41 degrees. Okay, now this large angle Q, which is divided by that vertical line, that or that line that's going... Um, it's bisecting it, but we don't really know if it's bisecting it. It's it's just dividing the angle. Angle Q is equal to 36 plus the unknown portion of that angle here, which I'm going to just call X. Okay, that's one, um, the, the measure of total of angle Q. And then we also know that we have to add 17 to that, <clears throat> and that's equal to 180. So using this um, formula, we can deduce that x is going to be equal to 180, and then we're going to subtract 41, subtract 36, and subtract 17, and that's going to give us an angle of um, 180, let's work this out here on the calculator, 180 minus 41 minus 36 minus 17 is equal to 86 degrees. So therefore, angle X, <clears throat> which is actually angle RQT, which is what we're looking for, RQT is equal to 86 degrees. <clears throat> okay, so that's one method of solving for it. Um, there's probably several other ways you could kind of look at this um, too, but the big, I, the big principle here is that you have to understand that that 36 degrees is equal to the 36 um, on the opposite side of that transversal, and then use the idea that we have a triangle in there to figure out 180 degrees. Now remember, there's that dividing line actually makes two triangles. There's like a small one here, and then there's that the other one there, and then there's the big one. So there's probably lots of combinations that you kind of work through to figure out the unknown angles, but that's one way that you can get to it really quickly.